What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina and as you can tell we're back out here at our local sandbar. There's only a couple boats out here but uh, this morning we're out here looking for a piece of a bimini top that one of our divers, uh, a friend of his, had lost over the past weekend. Now we've actually triangulated the area out. As you can tell there's a lot of different houses that we can use for triangulation and what we're actually doing is here behind me, if you can see it in the background, is the buoy. I'll try to point it right there for you. We're going to use that buoy as one mark. And then this house over here behind me, it kind of looks like the old Freddy Krueger house here. Let's see if I can point it out for you there. That one right there. We're going to use those two as a triangulation mark. Now, usually we want a third point of reference. What we're actually going to use as a third point of reference, of course, is the depth itself. We know that it's around seven and a half to eight foot deep of, uh, or depth where he actually lost the uh, part of his bimini top. So we're going to use that. Using our sonar, we're going to get our depths. We're going to line up to those two points. And then, of course, we're going to go down and do a circle search. So come along with us. I'll try to explain to you exactly what I'm doing in the video. Uh, if we don't find it when uh, doing a circle search, we're going to try to do 5 to 25 foot circles. Then we'll move over and do another 5 to 25 foot circle. It's pretty flat where we're at, so we can use that as reference points as, as far as if we're getting deeper, we know we've got out of our search area. Or if we're getting shallower, we know we've got out of our search area. But we're going to go down, do a circle search using a reel, myself and another diver. Hopefully we'll find it. If not, we'll move over let the diver swap out you know instead of me being the pivot man then i'll be the search diver and then hopefully we'll come across this item so come along with us and see how good we do all right guys so here i am at the beginning of the dive and we are fixing to jump in there of course i just splashed into the water uh, once the other diver gets into the water with me then we will kind of discuss how we're going to do the search which we've already predetermined how we're going to do it. He's going to actually be the searching diver, and I'm going to be the pivot man. I'm going to hold the reel, letting out five-foot increments of line on every rotation. And we're just doing your basic circle search. The area that we're at is very, very flat. We're going to be working in depths of anywhere between six foot and nine foot max and we're just going to be doing five feet increments from five feet out to 25 feet and then of course we'll reel back in and do a, a different area but he's going to be searching here he's going to make one complete rotation you'll see me signal to him to stop and then of course uh, i'll let out five feet of uh, line I'll signal for him to begin again and he'll make another complete rotation. Once again, I'm nothing more at this point than just a pivot man. I'm pivoting or I'm pivoting as he's swimming in a complete circle. Our viz is not very good. It's only about three foot viz. Uh, where we get the five feet increments, you can really search doing a circle search in any um, any increment that you want to. We're basing this uh, off our what we call our wingspan or fingertip to fingertip tip stretch and based off what our visibility is. So a five foot search really worked good for us. There he made his first rotation um, and I'm letting out another five foot for him. Uh, I believe we made a total of three searches. This is, of course, our first. And there what I did is I just simply marked uh, in the seal just a, an indicator mark to let me know when I've made a complete rotation. Uh, you know, you could use a compass to, to do it, but where we're at, it was just very simple just to reach down, make a mark in the seal, and... Um, and that way, every time I come back and face that mark, I knew that we had made a, a complete 360-degree turn. So once I get back to there, I'll signal once again and let him know that uh, he needs to take out more line. here you can see he made another rotation I'm letting out a little bit more line uh, there if you caught that real quick that little bit you can go back there you can kind of see it uh, that's the 15 foot mark on the line and the way I know that's the 15 foot mark is that's our safety stop depth and of course if you watched our video where I showed you how I, I set up our, or set up my reels you know that I put a little swivel at the 15 foot mark of my line so that during a safety stop um, 
I know I'm exactly at 15 feet. I don't have to look at gauges or anything like that. So if I shot a buoy and I need to do a safety stop at 15 feet, then then there's my little indicator. But that also lets me know that I'm around 15 foot there. Uh, he's going to make another complete rotation. I'll let out another five foot of line. Um, and then we actually move locations. We move to a different area. Um, and there's kind of another reason we did that too. The area we're searching, uh, you know, most states have laws with dive flags that divers have to be within a certain distance of the boat and boats can't come within certain distance of a dive flag. And here in North Carolina, that's a 50 foot uh, radius, you know, a, a, another boat has to be 50 feet away from that dive flag. So we are essentially right near our boat uh, and we didn't want to push that because we are on a local sandbar where a lot of a lot of other boaters are so like i said we just did the 25 foot and then we moved did another 25 foot circle and then moved again and so here we've uh we've come back up this is actually our third rotation um i have changed places with the other diver now i'm going to be the search diver he's going to be uh the pivot man and see if that that helps us out a little bit this way we don't get bored just doing one thing uh, we try to take turns you know searching so now i'm handing him the reel i'm explaining to him the pulls uh, and we dive together a lot it's just you know each time we dive we we tend to do something a little bit different as far as one pull two pulls and what each one means typically speaking especially in the public safety and ice diving you know we do a lot of each um one pull is a, an okay or a stop um, two pulls is usually take out line um three pulls is i need something or you know an emergency and then of course full pulls get me out of here so but in this situation we just did one one meant to stop two meant to take out line um and then one was also an indicator as the way we check to make sure you're okay so here i am searching now uh, like i said we changed places i'm i think i'm roughly about seven seven and a half foot deep here uh, I'm just basically swimming in a circle. I'm keeping the line in my left hand, and I'm keeping the line tight. And my right arm is stretched out to my side, and as I'm kicking, I just pivot around him. So as I'm swimming along here, uh, you'll notice that I come across the object, which was part of the bimini top that we were looking for for the gentleman. Uh, you'll see it. You should see it here in just a second on the right side of the screen. But as I locate it, I'll signal to him that I have there, there's the bimini top, and then of course I'm going to reach over, give a couple pulls to let him know that I've located the object, um, and he's also, since we are using just a finger spool versus a cave reel, or I'm sorry, a wreck reel or something like that, uh, that was my indicator to him uh, to start winding up the line as I swam back to him. All right, guys, so we just got out of the water, and as you can tell, we had a very successful search. Took us about three to four uh, rotations as far as different locations. We did one circle search. We did another circle search, you know, five to 25-foot increments. And then on the third circle search, we actually located the part of the bimini top. So we had a good, successful search. Hopefully, you'll get to see it in the video. Like I said, uh, I'll commentate through it for you. But, um, yeah, that's how we get out here and we search. We triangulate where we think the object is. We determine what type of bottom composition we got and what the contour of the bottom is. And then, of course, we we search from that, whether it's a navigational search, uh, an expanding square search, or a circle search. But I really appreciate you coming along. If you got any questions on how we do this, simply put it down in the comment section below. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.